Bathsheba was the wife of Uriah the Hittite and later of David, according to the Hebrew Bible. She is most known for the biblical narrative in which she was summoned by King David, who had seen her bathing and lusted after her. She was the mother of Solomon, who succeeded David as king, making her the queen mother. <inaudible> biblical narrative Bathsheba was the daughter of Eliam 2 Samuel 11 verse 3, Amiel in 1 Chronicles 3 verse 5. And Eliam is mentioned in 2 Samuel 23 verse 34 as the son of Ahithophel, who is described as the Gilanite. Bathsheba was the wife of Uriah the Hittite. David's first interactions with Bathsheba are described in 2 Samuel 11, and are omitted in the books of Chronicles. David, while walking on the roof of his palace, saw a very beautiful woman bathing. He ordered inquiries and found out that she was Bathsheba, wife of Uriah. He desired her and later made her pregnant. The text in the Bible does not explicitly state whether Bathsheba consented to sex. In an effort to conceal his sin, David summoned Uriah from the army with whom he was on campaign in the hope that Uriah would have sex with her and think that the child belongs to him. But Uriah was unwilling to violate the ancient kingdom rule applying to warriors in active service. Rather than go home to his own bed, he preferred to remain with the palace troops. After repeated efforts to convince Uriah to have sex with Bathsheba the king gave the order to his general, Joab, that Uriah should be placed on the front lines of the battle, where Uriah would be more likely to die. David had Uriah himself carry the message that led to his death. After Uriah has been killed, David married Bathsheba. David's action was displeasing to the Lord, who sent Nathan the prophet to reprove the king. After relating the parable of the rich man who took away the one little ewe lamb of his poor neighbor 2 Samuel 12 verses 1-6, and exciting the king's anger against the unrighteous act, the prophet applied the case directly to David's action with regard to Bathsheba. The king at once confessed his sin and expressed sincere repentance. Bathsheba's first child by David was struck with a severe illness and died, unnamed, a few days after birth, which the king accepted as his punishment. Nathan also noted that David's house would be punished for Uriah's murder. Bathsheba later gave birth to David's son Solomon. In David's old age, Bathsheba secured the succession to the throne by Solomon instead of David's elder surviving sons by his other wives, such as Chilib, 2 Samuel chapter 3 verses 1 to 6, Adonijah, 1 Kings chapter 1 verses 11 to 31, and others, 2 Samuel chapter 3 verses 1 to 6. David's punishment came to pass years later when one of David's much-loved sons, Absalom, led an insurrection that plunged the kingdom into civil war. Moreover, to manifest his claim to be the new king, Absalom had sexual intercourse in public with ten of his father's concubines, which could be considered a direct, tenfold divine retribution for David's taking the woman of another man 2 Samuel 16 verses 20-23. Judaism. Topic. Relationship to Ahithophel John Gill mentions that in rabbinic literature Bathsheba is supposed to have been the granddaughter of Ahitophel. The argument is that she is called the daughter of Eliam in 2 Sam, 11-3, and 2 Sam 23-34 mentions an Eliam, the son of Ahithophel the Gilanite, one of David's 30. The assumption is then that these two Eliams are the same person. This would then explain why Ahitophel, one of David's chief advisors, chose the side of Absalom during his rebellion. However in 1 Chronicles the names are very different, Bathsheba is called Bathshua the daughter of Amiel in 1 Chronicles chapter 3 verse 5. And in the list of David's 30 in 1 Chronicles chapter 11 verse 36 we have Ahijah the Pelonite. Some have also questioned whether Ahithophel would have been old enough to have a granddaughter. Topic. In rabbinic literature Bathsheba was the granddaughter of Ahithophel, David's famous counselor. The Haggadah states that Ahithophel was misled by his knowledge of astrology into believing himself destined to become king of Israel. He therefore induced Absalom to commit an unpardonable crime 2 Sam, 1621, which sooner or later would have brought with it, according to Jewish law, the penalty of death, the motive for this advice being to remove Absalom, and thus to make a way for himself to the throne. 
His astrological information had been, however, misunderstood by him, for in reality it only predicted that his granddaughter, Bathsheba, the daughter of his son Eliam, would become queen San, 101 b, Yach. Sam, section 150, the Midrash portrays the influence of Satan bringing about the sinful relation of David and Bathsheba as follows, Bathsheba was bathing, perhaps behind a screen of wickerwork. Satan is depicted as coming in the disguise of a bird. David, shooting at the bird, strikes the screen, splitting it, thus Bathsheba is revealed in her beauty to David Sanhedrin 107a. Topic. Christianity. In Matthew chapter 1 verse 6, the wife of Uriah is mentioned as one of the ancestors of Jesus. Bathsheba is recognized as the archetypal example of the Queen Mother, foreshadowing the role of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of Heaven. Bathsheba's son, King Solomon, rises to greet her, bows down in veneration, and furnishes her a seat at his right hand. This demonstrates her exalted status and share in the royal kingdom. Bathsheba acts as intercessor for her subjects, delivering their petitions to the king. Pray ask King Solomon. He will not refuse you. To give me Abishag the Shunammite as my wife. When Jesus founds the church, he maintains continuity with his hereditary house of David. Mary, who is mother of Christ the King, is accorded the highly favored status in Catholicism as the Queen Mother in the Kingdom of God, and continues to intercede on behalf of the faithful who pray to her. Topic. Islam In Islam David is considered to be a prophet, and some Islamic tradition views the Bible story as incompatible with the principle of infallibility of the prophets. A hadith quoted in Tafsir al-Kabir and Majma al expresses that Ali bin Abi Talib said, Whoever says that David, has married Uriah's wife as the legends are narrate, I will punish him twice, one for Qazf, falsely accusing someone of adultery and the other for desecrating the prophethood defamation of prophet David. Another hadith narrated from Shia scholars states that Ali al-Ridda, during the discussions with the scholars of other religions about prophets' infallibility, asked one of them, What do you say about David? He said, David was praying, when a beautiful bird appeared in front of him, and David left his prayer and went after the bird. While David was walking on the roof of his palace, he saw Bathsheba having a bath. So David placed her husband in the front lines of the battlefield, in order to get killed, so that he could marry Bathsheba. Ali al Ridda got upset and said, Ina lilahi wa ina ilahi rajiun, you assign sluggishness in prayer to the Prophet of God, and then accuse him of unchastity, and then charge him with the murder of an innocent man. He asked, So what is the story of Uriah? And Ali al Ridda said, At that time, women whose husbands passed away or got killed in the war would never get married again, and this was the source of many evils. David was the first person to break this tradition. So after Uriah was incidentally killed in the war, David married his wife, but people could hardly accept this anomalous marriage and subsequently legends were made about this marriage. Topic. Critical commentary Bathsheba's name appears in 1 Chronicles 3 verse 5 spelled Bathshua. The form becomes merely a variant reading of Bathsheba. The passages in which Bathsheba is mentioned are 2 Samuel chapter 11 verse 2-12 to 24 and 1 Kings chapter 1 verse 2, both of which are parts of the oldest stratum of the books of Samuel and Kings, part of that court history of David, written by someone who stood very near the events and who did not idealize David. The material contained in it is of higher historical value than that in the later strata of these books. Buddy later connected it with the Jawist document of the Hexateuch. The only interpolations that concern the story of Bathsheba are some verses in the early part of the twelfth chapter, that heighten the moral tone of Nathan's rebuke of David. According to Carl Buddy, the interpolated portion is 12 to 7, 8, and 10 to 12. According to Friedrich Schwally and H. P. Smith, the whole of 12 to 115a is an interpolation, and 12, 15b should be joined directly to 11:27. This does not directly affect the narrative concerning Bathsheba herself. First Chronicles omits all reference to the way in which Bathsheba became David's wife, and gives only the names of her children in First Chronicles chapter 3 verse 5, Shimea, Shobab, Nathan, and Solomon. The father of Bathsheba was Eliam. 
Amiel, in 1 Chronicles 3 verse 5. As this was also the name of a son of Ahithophel, one of David's heroes 2 Samuel 23 verse 34, perhaps Bathsheba was a granddaughter of Ahithophel and that the latter's desertion of David at the time of Absalom's rebellion was in revenge for David's conduct toward Bathsheba. Kenneth E. Bailey interprets the passage from a different perspective. He says that David's Jerusalem was tightly packed and Bathsheba's house may have been as close as 20 feet away from David's rooftop. People in ancient times were exceptionally modest about their bodies so he suggests that Bathsheba displayed herself deliberately, so that instead of being an innocent victim, it was actually she who seduced David in order to rid herself of Uriah, and move in with King David. David summoned Bathsheba for sex. Lawrence O. Richards states that the biblical text supports the innocence of Bathsheba, that David took the initiative to find out her identity and summon her, and that she was alone at the time and had no way to refuse the requests of a king. David J. Zucker writes that, S. He is a victim of power rape. Andrew J. Schmutzer stated that, David's taking Bathsheba makes him responsible for her coming to him. Anthony F. Campbell states, the violation of Bathsheba may be the least unsatisfactory terminology, especially given the ambivalence of the text's storytelling. According to Michael D. Coogan, the faulting of David is made clear in the text from the very beginning. It was springtime, the time when kings go forth to war. But David remained in Jerusalem. 2 Samuel chapter 11 verse 1. If David had been away at war, the incident would not have taken place. The Bathsheba incident leads to a shift in the book's perspective. Afterwards, David is largely at the mercy of events rather than directing them. He is no longer able to control his family and ends up being overthrown by Absalom. And in 2 Samuel chapter 13 the story of David's son Amnon's rape of his sister Tamar, told so soon after the incident of Bathsheba, seems to draw a parallel between the sexual misconduct of father and son. <laughs> Cultural references <laughs> Art, Bathsheba in her bath Bathsheba at her bath is the formal name for the subject in art showing Bathsheba bathing, watched by King David. In art the subject is one of the most commonly shown in the power of women topos. As an opportunity to feature a large female nude as the focus of a history painting, the subject was popular from the Renaissance onwards. Sometimes Bathsheba's maids, or the messengers, sent by David are shown, and often a distant David watching from his roof. The messengers are sometimes confused with David himself, but most artists follow the Bible in keeping David at a distance in this episode. Paintings with articles include Bathsheba at her bath Rembrandt, Louvre, the most famous painting of the subject. Bathsheba at her bath Veronese, 1575, Musée des Beaux-Arts de Lyon, France. Atypically, Bathsheba is clothed in this. Topic. Literature. 1588 David and Bethsabe, a play by George Peel 1874 The story of Bathsheba, David and Uriah is echoed in Thomas Hardy's novel Far from the Madding Crowd. 1893 The Sherlock Holmes story The Adventure of the Crooked Man uses the David-Bathsheba story as its main structure. 1984 The tragicomedic novel God Knows written by Joseph Heller. Narrated by King David, purports to be his deathbed memoirs, however, not recounted in a straightforward fashion, the storyline is often hilariously fractured, exploring David's childhood herding sheep, the prophet Samuel, Goliath, King Saul, Jonathan, and homosexual innuendos, Bathsheba and Uriah, the Psalms, the treachery of Absalom, Solomon, with even the occasional display of David betraying a knowledge of the future and heaven. 2015 The Life of King David, as narrated by the prophet Nathan, and including the story of Uriah and Bathsheba, is the subject of the novel The Secret Chord by Geraldine Brooks. Topic. Film Bathsheba has been portrayed by Susan Hayward in the film David and Bathsheba 1951. Rosalind Elias in the TV premiere of Ezra Laterman's opera, Cantata and David Wept 1971. Jane Seymour in the TV film The Story of David 1976. Alice Cridge in the film King David 1985. Melia Kryling in the TV miniseries The Bible 2013.
Topic: Musical. David and Bathsheba, who is unnamed, are referenced in the Leonard Cohen song Hallelujah, released 1985. You saw her bathing on the roof; her beauty in the moonlight overthrew you. The song Dead. From the 1989 album Doolittle by the Pixies depicts David's lust for Bathsheba, the pregnancy resulting from their adultery, and Uriah's demise. Bathsheba and Uriah are mentioned by name. Mad About You, a song on Sting's 1991 album The Soul Cages, explores David's obsession with Bathsheba from David's perspective. Topic see also A Lineage of Grace, a series of novellas including Unspoken, Bathsheba Category, paintings depicting Bathsheba King Lemuel List of films based on military books pre-1775, hashtag Battle of the Valley of Elah, film David and Bathsheba Topic Notes Topic References Topic Sources This article incorporates text from a publication now in the Public Domain, Singer, Isidore, et al., eds., 1901-1906. Bathsheba. Jewish Encyclopedia. New York, Funk and Wagnalls Company. Topic Bibliography Kristen Detroyer, Looking at Bathsheba with Text Critical Eyes, in Nora David, Armin Lang, Kristen Detroyer and Shani Zoreff eds., The Hebrew Bible in Light of the Dead Sea Scrolls Göttingen, Vandenhoek and Ruprecht, 2011 Forschungen zur Religion und Literatur des Alten und Neuen Testaments, 239, 84-94. External links Askmoses. Com. Was King David guilty of murder and adultery? by Rabbis Mendy Gutnick and Avraham Weinberg.